Hi guys, um, I am going to go over some of our unit vocabulary that I think is important. Um, it was in some of the sources that I put on your last slide in your Google slide presentation, but I'm not quite sure everybody um, got to look through every link. So just in case, I'm going to talk about these a little bit more. Your shapes can be described by their properties. Um, and we like to call that, or their characteristics, like I have here. Um, but in math with geometry, we like to call those attributes. So an attribute is a way that we can describe our shapes. Um, one of the type of shapes that we like to talk about in third grade and when you're older are quadrilaterals. My um, trick for you to remember what quadrilaterals meant was if you think of a four-wheeler, a four-wheeler has four wheels, okay, and um, sometimes they are nicknamed quads. So quad, four sides, four wheels would mean a shape that has four sides. So on this paper, you have five examples of uh, quadrilaterals. We have a rectangle, a square, a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a rhombus. Now, if I move this in closer, some of the attributes that we use to describe shapes um, and help group them together are listed on this paper. I'm sorry it's so blurry. I'm trying my best here, guys, for you. There we go. So if you look at this rectangle, um, it says this rectangle has four right angles. So if we're going to talk about a right angle, basically what that means is, is that the angle is a 90 degree angle. Literally, you can take the corner of a piece of paper and it should fit perfectly inside of there. It's where two lines, so this line and this line would intersect. So if I made this line continue, and let me draw this one second. If I made this, these lines continue, it would make a cross, a perfect cross, and right here would make a right angle, right here, here would make a perfect right angle, here would be a perfect right angle, and there would be a perfect right angle. Now it says opposite sides are parallel. So you know opposites like hot, cold, up and down. If you look at a shape, they mean an opposite pair like your eyes. So you have a pair of eyes, right? You have one on your left side and right. Well, this rectangle has a pair of parallel sides. So here's one side, here's the other side, and together this side and that side make one pair of parallel lines, okay? Um, so opposite sides are parallel. So there's one set of parallel sides and there's two sets of parallel sides. Okay, so the opposite sides are also equal in length. So from here to this corner is the exact same length as its opposite over here. From here to that corner, they are the exact same length. So right now we just described some of the attributes of this rectangle. We talked about angles. We talked about parallel sides, and we also talked about opposite sides that are equal in length, so how long or short these sides are. So that's a rectangle. If we continue, this quadrilateral is a square, and I'm so sorry, it keeps getting blurry, guys, is a square. This square, we know, we've already talked about this in class, that squares have all sides that are equal length. So it says four equal sides. This one also has four right angles, so if you took your piece of paper and put it in that corner, it would fit perfectly, okay? And that means those lines, again, intersect perfectly like a perfect cross. And then all the opposite sides are parallel. So remember, this side is, is parallel with its opposite side. So remember, parallel, we talked about this in class, means those lines, so this one and this line will forever run without touching each other. They will never intersect. They will never cross, okay? So you can see similarities right now in the rectangle and square, okay? They have four right angles, so that's how we could group those together, okay? And then their opposite sides are also equal length. We know that. And their opposite sides are parallel, okay? The next quadrilateral on this list is a parallelogram. So parallel is that base word in this word. Um, so that means these so here's one pair of parallel lines and two sets of parallel lines are parallel to each other. So again, this line will never cross or intersect this line. An easy way to remember that is a set of train tracks. 
you never want those tracks to intersect, right? Because then your train would not do so hot on those tracks. It would crash, right? The next quadrilateral that you've seen before or heard about, I like to, to help me spell it. I say trapezoid, but a trapezoid. And it says there's only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So this is a really good way to show you what I meant parallel means and you don't want your trains to fall off the tracks. So let's find the parallel set first, okay? So here is a perfect line going left and right and here's its opposite, okay? Here's its opposite side and they run parallel. But I'll show you what I mean when they're not parallel. So I'm gonna put my paper down for a second and I'll put it right back up. But the lines on the sides will eventually cross Okay, they will eventually cross like that. Now, you don't want your train to do that because, again, they will derail, right? So those are not parallel. Our last quadrilateral that I think is important for us to know is a rhombus. Um, when I was a little girl, we called this a diamond, okay? So that's another way you might hear that um, described. And you might also describe the shape as a kite. But rhombus is the word we're looking for right now in third grade. Okay, so this one, just like the square, has four equal sides. So the length of this side is the exact same as that side and that side and that side. And all the opposite pairs and the sides are parallel. So this right here, you guessed it, its opposite is across. That is parallel with that line. They will never cross. And this line up here, we call that a segment, okay? This line from here to here is the exact length as its um, other pair over here, okay? So that's one pair, two pairs of parallel lines. Some of the other shapes that you will probably um, read about or have to work with are um, our triangle. It has three sides and three angles. Now, if you look at these angles, these are cute angles or acute angles because they're tiny. They are smaller than a right angle. So these are not perfect square angles. As you can see, if I put this up here, that is way smaller than a 90 degree angle, right? Okay, and our angles are right here. One, two, three. So it's where you have a point, okay? We call those vertices. Our pentagon, and I know that was in the work um, on Monday. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five equal sides and five equal angles. You guys did a really good job on your chart and your homework. Our next shape is a hexagon. That means there are six sides of equal length and all the angles are the exact same. So if you look at these angles, and I put this paper here, you'll notice that that angle is actually larger than the corner um, of this paper, which means that's an obtuse angle. It's large, okay? It's larger than a perfect 90 degree angle or a perfect square. Another shape that you've seen before is an octagon. So octopus, octagon means eight, okay? Eight sides, and they're all the same length. And all the angles are equal as well. And these are also obtuse. They're bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, a polygon is a shape that has two or more straight sides like this that meet and close. So this is a closed figure again because remember my trick with the gate. No gate is open here, no door. So all the sides are shut. Okay, um, I'm going to continue. I don't want to make this video too long and overwhelm you guys. But... Your work that is going to be assigned to you today has to do with um, putting your shapes together based on their attributes. So you'll be grouping them. Okay, so remember a way that we can group our shapes and name them is by counting the number of sides or the angles. Um, sometimes all the sides can be different lengths, but it can still have a name. So this side has one, two, three, four. This shape has four sides. So it is a quadrilateral, okay? Um, although I don't think it really has a name, okay? So this one says some shapes have two or more sides that are the same length. So if you look, A and B are the same length, but C is different. And shapes can also have all sides the same length. So that's a pentagon has five sides. Now, if you look here, it says shapes can have opposite sides that are the same length. So that's what I just talked about when we were describing the rectangle. Another way that you can describe your angles. Again, here's a better picture. It says um, shapes can have all square corners. So that's what I was talking about, about your perfect right angle or your right angle, square angle. 
Shapes can have some square corners. This triangle has only one. So if you notice, only one square corner is here. And then it says a pentagon is a shape with five sides and five angles. The pentagon has two square corners. This one does here and here. Or shapes can have no square corners. So we talked about that. This is a hexagon. Okay, so those are different ways you can describe your shapes. I'm sorry for the shakiness, guys. All right. So what you'll be seeing on your work today um, are questions similar to this. All right, so if you look here, and this was in the instruction workbook, which you guys do not have, so that's okay. That's why I'm showing you this. Um, it says you can compare shapes and put them into groups. The groups tell how the shapes are alike. Use the two red shapes to answer problems two through five. So you will have work like this in are on your worksheet today. I'm just trying to get to my page here. Okay, so if we look here, you have a triangle and a rectangle, and it says which of the shapes shown has at least one square corner? Well, if you're confused and you don't know, remember you can take a corner of a piece of paper and go like this, and it looks like that triangle has at least one square corner, and we know the rectangle does based off those notes I just showed you. So you would write both triangle and rectangle. Which of the shapes shown has all square corners? Well, if you just looked at that chart I have, which I attach, by the way, to your Google Classroom, you'll notice that this one has four square corners, so only the rectangle can be listed. Which of the shapes shown has some sides of the same length? So if you look at this triangle, you can see that this side is the same length as that side. And then we know that the opposite sides in a rectangle are the exact same length. So this side is the exact same length as its opposite. And same with this pair. So you could write both names there. And the last example I'll show you is this one. Which of the shapes shown has opposite sides that are the same length? Well, I just talked about that, right? The opposite sides are the same length. So a rectangle would go here. All right, so um, I am going to actually go down here and show you this Venn diagram. It says a Venn diagram helps you sort things into groups. Shapes that belong in different groups go in the left or right part of the Venn diagram. Shapes that belong in both groups go in the middle part. Draw a shape to match each description. So down here, it says on the in the red font, some square corners in the middle right here, or I'm sorry, on the right right here in blue font, it says some sides the same length. And then here it says some square corners and some sides are the same length. Okay, I'm sorry, this is shaky, guys. I don't want to shatter, but I'm going to try to fix this for you right now. See, there's that shadow. Okay. So, I'm really sorry, guys. Yeah, I think it works better this way. So, I will talk about it and I'll draw your picture. So, it says some square corners. We know that a triangle can have some square corners, but not all. Um, some sides the same length. So, you know what? I'm going to draw a rhombus. I'm sorry, a parallelogram, and I'm going to make its opposite sides. Parallelogram, guys. I'm sorry. Its opposite sides the same length. And in the, more, in the middle, where this is at, where your two circles intersect each other and cross each other, and I know you've seen this in second grade, that's where there is something similar about this shape. That could also be similar about the shape that would go on this side. So I'm going to draw to some square corners and some sides are the same length. I'm actually going to draw a pentagon that looks kind of like the base of a house drawing. And then I'm going to hold this up so you can see it a little bit more clear. Oh, clearly. Okay. There you go. So some square corners and some side lengths are the same. So that's what you're going to do on your work today. Um, I hope this was helpful and not too shaky. If you have more questions, you guys have been doing a really good job answer, or asking questions, you can do that through Google Classroom or by emailing me. Um, I hope you have an, a great Wednesday and that this work is making sense to you. Again, if not, ask me questions. Bye, guys.